saw the, the skull, and then his son came out and called 911, and I guess and reported it. That's how it all started. Hunters find a badly decomposed body in the woods, and tonight, detectives already think they know who it is. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hall. I'm Jeff Gianola, and that body was found on private property in rural Washington County. Our Jennifer Dowling spoke to a neighbor who thinks those hunters found the man who killed his friend five years ago. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Harvey Bracken has lived in this densely wooded area of Pumpkin Ridge with his wife for more than 50 years. They were friends with their neighbors, Teresa Franzman, who was killed in 2012, and her husband, who was with Harvey when Teresa died. We was bowling on a bowling league, and we'd been gone bowling that day, and then it happened. Detectives say the accused killer, Bob Hardison, was living in a mobile home on the couple's property, and Harvey just missed him on the day of the murder. We'd been just 20 minutes sooner, we'd have saw him leaving. It has been long suspected Hardison left the scene of the crime and went into the woods where he regularly hiked, leaving evidence behind. His car was there and there was blood in in his car and so they knew that they knew that he'd been wounded. A warrant was issued for his arrest, but Harvey thinks the woods hid Hardison's body from people who went searching for him. Just after it all happened, well it snowed that weekend and you could send a hundred people back there and and probably not find anything. This road leads to the dark woods where the bones were found scattered. Detectives say it was clear they'd been exposed to the elements for quite some time. I knew that if he was up there somewhere that a hunter would run across and that's the only way he'd be found. Although detectives are working to prove without a doubt the remains belong to Hardison, Harvey strongly believes the discovery will provide the closure the community has been hoping for. Nothing like that can ever be made right, but I'm just happy that, that it's over with. The bones will now be sent to the Oregon State Crime Lab for testing. At Pumpkin Ridge, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.